Okay, here we are on our little excursion. Um, I'm encouraging you to subscribe to all these videos and then you can get all the different topics coming out here uh, or coming out recently. This one's gonna be interesting. The topic is about false prophets and I'm mainly just pulling from the book of Jude going off of memory, but I did write down some points here. Got a beautiful scenery back here. Uh, point number one, false prophets, the Bible's clear, Jude is clear, is they draw people to themselves. What I mean by that is there's not a unity in the body. They actually cause bye disunity. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. I'm a saw birdie. Uh, so they cause, and the reason I, I like her here as well, too, is it reminds us we're fighting for our children and our, and our, and our, the next generation and, 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 and calling out false prophets and people like that. So Jude is clear here. They draw people to themselves. So be careful. If you've been in, in the clutches of a false prophet, if you're going that direction, just remember they, they, they draw people into themselves by saying the right thing and they actually cause disunity in the body. And, and it's, it's a drawing into me. I know it's right. I'm the final authority. I've got the knowledge. I know what God's will is. And they cause disunity in the real body of Christ. And that's, that's a sure sign of a false prophet. Another one is they're either legalistic or they're carnal. Now, legalistic, I mean, I mean, the rules, you got to do this, you got to do that. You, you can't fellowship with unbelievers. You can only have a house church in our church and, and you got to do this. You can't go here. You can, it's a lot of rules. Uh, the Bible talks about, you know, even saying, Hey, you can't eat meat. You can't do this. You can't do this. But then there's the other side of a false prophet where it's all about carnality. They actually encourage sin. They just say, hey, if you're in sin, no big deal. Embrace alternate lifestyles, sexual sin, <laughs> no big deal. And th there's really a false prophet in this area. There's no call to repentance. There's no to call to repenting from your sin. Uh, so you have to watch both. There's the legalistic rules person. And then there's the, um, you know, carnal person. Oh, yeah. You want to say something? Oh, no, guess not on that one. Uh, also, they reject authority. So God has a hierarchy. Uh, I'm actually under authority. I'm under the submission, the authority of, of um, our pastors, our elders. And then I also have people who speak into my life. For everyone from Jim Garlow to, to Jack Hibbs to Dr. Jack Graham to James Robinson and many others I could list here. I guess she's just having a great time. So, but they reject authority. It's like they are the final authority. Uh, and those who open, let's say, house churches or, or, or home church movements. And I'm all for, you know, having studies in, in church in our home. That's biblical. But it's, they're the final say. They're the authority. So be careful. Be very careful of that person. Uh, also, let me just pull a, a few from Jude, uh, verse 16. They are grumbling and they are complaining. They mouth great swelling words to flatter you. So there's a grumbling and complaining attitude. They're just never... Uh, how this would work in a church. They're, they're never on board with the leadership. They're just always grumbling and complaining. Look at what they did. Look at how they did that. Look at, I don't know, you know, and it's just a grumbling and complaining because they want to go in, cause dissension and start pulling out sheep from the flock. So it's very, you have to be very careful in this area. Verse 19 of Jude. Why don't you go ahead and read Jude? Uh, it'd, be, it'd be in great encouragement. They are sensual and they cause division. Wow. Now this word sensual, you, it's not what we think. It's a, uh, it's a bombastic attitude. It's a doing things that, hey, good morning, morning. doing things that would um, shock you. And there, there's a discon, there's a, um, a sensual, there's a, there's a, um, I'm trying to find the right word. I should have looked this up in the Greek and uh, gave you the exact meaning, but it's a, it's, I believe the noun is feminine and doing things that are shocking. So it's, they are, they do things that are shocking and causing disunity and they do not have the Holy Spirit of God. So that's a false prophet. Just look at the fruit. Are they causing disunity in a healthy body? Um, and, and something too that came out interesting. Uh, well, I'll probably do that in the next video on um, uh, is church only for believers. And I also did, just did one on Q and Q and on. Make sure you go and, and subscribe and you can find those. But that's a, the, the, look at the fruit of a false prophet. Are they filled with love and joy and peace and contentment and long suffering and gentleness and kindness? And do they want unity in the body? And are, are they encouraging? Are they, are they coming in and putting down people, putting down churches? And because they're the final authority, reject that, reject that, repent and turn back to God and let him begin to fill you with his spirit and show you, show you who a true teacher of God's word is. Those who are uh, they, they, they abide to the word of God. They encourage you to go to the word of God. They, they are broken. They are humble. And, and there, there's a, there's a clear difference. Just look at the fruit. Yes, I guess she's ready to go. Talk to you soon.